Napoleon Bonaparte was an exceptionally successful general in the French Revolution in the late 1700s. In 1793, from August to December, known as the Siege of Toulon, which was part of the conflict of the First Coalition, this was Napoleon's first battle and his first victory. Napoleon had battles from this time all the way up until June 1815, when the Battle of Waterloo, which led to his demise. Napoleon was an emperor who led the French armies throughout the revolution and in the Napoleonic Wars. Napoleon was seen as a tactical genius and a mastermind in the battle, despite his career ending in defeat. Out of the 80 battles he took part in, only 11 finished in defeat. Most notably, tactic-wise, Napoleon's Battle of Austerlitz is seen as one of his strongest. This is a battle between 75,000 of Napoleon's French men and 85,000 of Russia and Austria's men, led by Alexander I and Francis II. The Allies took plenty of time scouting Napoleon's setup, leading them to take the Pratzen Heights. And on the 5th of December, 1805, on a foggy morning, the Allied men attacked Napoleon's short-sided army. However, from the fog, Napoleon's hidden men cornered the Allies, causing them to run. This pushed the Allies onto the ice, allowing Napoleon's men to shoot their cannons, causing a breakthrough of the ice. This forced the Allies to fall through the ice and eventually lose the battle. The Battle of Waterloo was a fierce nine-hour battle on the 18th of June, 1815, between France's Emperor Napoleon and Britain's Duke of Wellington. A decorated war hero and later British Prime Minister who served two terms in office. The Duke faced off against Napoleon and the French army, consisting of 72,000, leading the Allied armies into battle. This Allied force consisted of 68,000 men, with the combined armies of the British, Germans, the Dutch and the Belgians, in addition to an army of 45,000 Prussians, which aided in the turning of the tide once Napoleon's army had been weakened by the Duke's battle tactics. The Battle of Waterloo marked the end of the Napoleonic Wars era and in turn altered the trajectory of European history, with the French Emperor excelled for the final time taken by the British to the small island of St Helena, which would also be Napoleon's final resting place on the 5th of May 1821. Figures vary depending on what statistics are included, however, during the Napoleonic Wars a minimum of 3 million people died from 1803 until 1815.